What are your own personal thoughts about what happens in the afterlife when someone shuts their eyes for that final time? Well, I'm hoping we go to a <laughs> wonderful place, uh, but uh, but I don't know. And, 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 you know, that's ultimately what the character says, um, which I really like. The movie isn't trying to give you an, an answer of what, what, what happens. It's, it's more about these... Uh, these people while they're here and what they're, uh, you know, in my case, my character is, uh, um, has this gift and this ability to connect to people who have passed away, but it's, it's, it's uh, become an obstacle to him having any kind of normal, normal life, and, and he's just yearning to um, uh, connect to people, and he's a very, very lonely guy, and I just thought that, that all really came through on the, on the page when I read the script. And he's really going through some inner conflict as well, isn't he? Talk about your relationship with Bryce in the film. You know, you, you kind of want these two to be together, and you, it, it, they seem to be a good romantic fit for one another, and they're both taking this cooking class at night because they're trying to meet people, and she's new to town, and he's desperate for, you know, uh, you know a friendship or, or more, and, uh, and it seems like they'd be a pretty good match for each other. And, uh, but because he... She, she finds out about his ability and, and it, and it kind of goes, takes a left turn. Unique, organic, succinct. That's the way I would verbalize um, the vision Clint Eastwood had for this film. He's someone you've worked with before. If you had to describe in one word, what would you say he was like? Masterful. How so? Well, he's just, he's made, you know, films for 60 years and he's just so fluent in the language of, of cinema he's just you know he's seen a lot of movies he's made a lot of movies he just he, he can attack any problem that a, that a movie can kind of throw up at him in, in, in innumerable ways and, and when you're with somebody who's that he got that, that kind of facility it's just uh, you know it's, that's, that's, that's good hands to be in you know you're such an accomplished actor. You've achieved so much in your life. Awards, you're a great writer, a producer. How do you choose what comes next? Is it a challenge for you? Is it hard? Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I usually look really at the director is, is the main, is the big choice, I think. And, and I've read so many scripts and I've written scripts. And, and so, um, so, those, so those choices kind of, they, they make them, they tend to make themselves. Um, like this one uh, is a very easy, easy decision when you have Clint Eastwood and this beautiful script by Peter Morgan and a great role to play. It was just a very easy, uh, easy thing to say yes to.